Arumba, written and illustrated by Marie Louise Gay. Karumba looked like any other cat. He had soft fur and a long, stripy tail. He ate fish, he purred, he went for long walks. But Karumba was different from other cats. He couldn't fly. It worried him a lot. Every cat in the world can fly, he said to Portia, his best friend, except me. I'm different too, said Portia. I'm pink and fat, and I have curly tail. You're a pig, cried Karumba. All pigs are pink and fat. And I can't fly either, said Portia. Pigs don't fly, cats do, sighed Karumba. Everyone knows that. It was true. Soon after they learned to walk, young cats would begin to fly. They would leap off the cliffs and soar over the ocean. Karumba watched them swoop and glide and skim the waves. That looks fun, said Portia. Don't you even want to try? No, said Karumba. But secretly, Karumba did try. He jumped off a small rock and fell flat on his face. What are you doing, Karumba? asked Portia. I'm looking for caterpillars, mumbled Karumba, his mouth full of grass. For my caterpillar collection. Then Karumba leaped off the chair and landed in his grandpa's lap. Ay, Karumba, cried his grandfather. What are you doing? I'm admiring your slippers, muttered Karumba. They're very nice. Karumba decided to try on a windy day. He ran as fast as he could and flapped his arms. What are you doing up there, Karumba? asked Portia. Just hanging around, said Karumba, waiting for my socks to dry. Finally, Karumba gave up. That's it, he told Portia. I'll never fly. What? You can't fly, said Bijou. Karumba looked up. His heart sank. His cousins Bijou and Bug were hovering just above his head, purring loudly. That's ridiculous, said Bug. Every cat knows how to fly. Karumba can do other things, said Portia. He collects caterpillars, he tells stories, he cooks cheese omelets. But he can't fly, laughed Bug. Karumba, what is wrong with you? Karumba didn't answer. What could he say? That he was afraid to fly? That flying made him dizzy? That he had tried over and over again and failed every time? The cats flew away giggling and weaving between the clouds. Let's do something else, said Portia. Let's go for a ride in the rowboat. I don't want to do anything else, said Karumba. I want to be alone. Karumba walked slowly down the pier. What is wrong with me, he thought. Why am I different? He wondered how it would feel to fly, to float like a cloud, to be light as a feather, to be free as a bird, to be like all the other cats. It probably felt wonderful. Then, with a fury whirling noise, Bijou landed on the pier. I have an idea, Karumba, said Bijou. We'll give you a flying lesson. What if you drop me, said Karumba. What if... Don't be such a scaredy cat, said Bug. Cats are meant to fly. Bijou and Bug each grabbed one of Karumba's paws. Up they went. The wind whistled through their fur. Birds swooped beneath them. Karumba opened his eyes. He was amazed. He could see forever. He could see forests and rivers and red roofs on the tiny houses. The patchwork squares of fields. It was stupendous. It was scary. Now the ocean glistened, moving like a giant animal stretching out beneath them. Are you ready? asked Bijou. Karumba's throat was dry. No, he whispered. But they didn't hear him. They let him go. Fly, Karumba, cried Bijou. Flap your arms, whirl your tail. But Karumba fell like a stone into the dark water. Bubbles rose around him. Seaweed tickled his paws. Karumba opened his eyes. Schools of fish were staring at him. Crabs scuttled over the white sand. Sea urchins and starfish basked in the blue light. Karumba's fur waved softly in the water. He was floating. Karumba flapped his arms and glided through the water. Karumba whirled his tail and soared through the seaweed. He somersaulted and swooped. He was light as a feather, free as a bird. It was like flying. Up above, Portia, Bug, and Bijou were very worried. Karumba, they cried. Karumba! Suddenly, Karumba popped out of the water. I'm here, he cried. His cousin stared in amazement as he swam toward the rowboat. 
What are you doing? cried Bijou. Cats can't swim. Everybody knows that. Well, I can, said Karamba. How was it? asked Borsha. Wonderful, said Karamba, drying his ears. You should try it. I just might, said Portia. Who knows? Maybe pigs can swim too.